everybody, Rex here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Krita Color Nero Oil Charcoal Pencils. So, let's get to it! So, the Creta Color Nero Oil Charcoals Pencils. Why are we going to take a look at this? Because somebody in the comment section suggested it. That's enough for me. So, why don't we get right to it? Now, we're going to take a look at the package first. We'll look at the front, back, you know, all that good stuff. And then, we got to figure out how we're going to take a look at this. Like, what are we going to compare it to? So we'll, we'll touch on that in a minute. But let's take a close look at this. All right. Yeah. So what does that say? Brevaliers? Brevaliers? Creta color. And it's a Nero oil charcoal pencil. So apparently these are charcoal pencils that got a little bit of oil in it. So I'm sure that that would make it be smoother. But on the other side, probably a lot harder to get off. We'll take a good look at that. And in the back, well, it tells us, I uh, have no idea. But I know somebody out there does. Oh, look, English. High quality professional artist materials made in Austria. All right. And I don't know which one of these is their language. I'm going to guess it's the one on the top. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. And let's see, we got a bunch of little Cody codes and a QVC thing. I think that's what they call it. And here is the, I guess, barcode number for those of you who might want to, I don't know, find this. So I'm going to rip into this package. Literally. Okay, well that's about as far as I can get with that. Time to do it. The old fashioned way. I apologize to any of you package purists out there, but uh, they really vacuum pack this puppy tighter than Fort Knox. All right, so taking a close look at these, they are not three of the same, but instead we see we have number one, which is a 4601, Austria. Neo Extra Soft, Nero, Nero not Neo, Nero Extra Soft, yeah. All right. Kind of a semi-gloss or a satin black finish. Kind of a silverish writing there. Yeah. And a real dinky tip that I consider worthless. So we'll have to resharpen that before we test it. Then we have numero dos right there. And for those of you who don't uh, speak uh, Austrian, <laughs> that's two. 4602. Yeah, I'm laughing at my own joke. All right. It says it's soft. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, sort of. Okay. And numero tray. That means tray. Un, do, tray, right? Okay. And we see it's medium. Now, I need to sharpen this and... First off, being a charcoal pencil, I don't want to put it in my long point sharpener because it would just have too much of a tip and it'll be easy to snap off. So I'm going to go grab me a hand type sharpener. I got me some sharpeners here because I'm not quite sure which one to use. 
I'm going to use this to sharpen a pond so I don't make a complete disaster of my desk. I guess it stands the reason that if we can sharpen the softest of them all, the number one extra soft, then that sharpener will be able to do the rest as well. Okay, so let me try this little baby here, the M, and M plus R. Yes, there's a video review on my channel somewhere for this, but let's see how this puppy will do. Made in Germany. Now, I'm turning the pencil, okay, in the sharpener. But I've had some say, no, you must turn the sharpener and hold the pencil. You know, all through school, we never did it that way here. But I'm going to do it right now and see if that makes much of a difference. Feels kind of weird. But here we go. Well, how, do you, how can you see what you're doing? That is really weird. Whoever you are that said this is the way to do it, show me your proof. This is, how is that different? I'm going to just do it this way. That is terrible. Did I give this thing a good review? I can't remember. All right. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. At least it didn't break. All right. So anyway, there's one. And we'll put that aside. I have this this other one here, this Mapco. Don't remember. Has two different sizes on here. So this would be for the smaller size pencils, I guess. Okay, so let's do the medium in here. Ooh. That certainly feels sharper, like it's got a nice blade to, oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so you want to know how to sharpen charcoal pencil? You can certainly, you can certainly use that puppy right there, okay? It says, it looks like, oh, it says mapped. I'm so glad you figured it out. M-A-P-E-D? Yeah. I'm sure I got a video out there somewhere. So many of them, I can't remember. Okay. Now, I've got this one here, which is a, I'm just going to call it Coon Long Point. And let you all battle over that on the comments. Now, this is a Long Point, which I just said I didn't want to use that electric sharpener for. But... This is not as long as that electric sharpener. Trust me on that. Okay, so far, we're doing all right. Oh, wow. Okay, well, and then that is a really nice long point. So, this is a soft. This here is the extra soft. And this is the medium. And all three of them survived handheld sharpeners. So you pick which one you like the best and go with it. Those of you who watch my drawing videos know that I like high contrast drawing, photorealism. And one of the major tools is something that will give you a pitch black shadows and things like that. So... Could this be one of those types of pencils? All right, well, let's start with number three. Number so small, I could hardly, that's a three, even though it's so tiny, can you believe it? There it is. Okay, so this is the medium. And let me just kind of get a feel for this. Okay, it's pretty smooth. 
it does not come off like a regular charcoal pencil. It it feels somewhere between a crayonish type pencil or say a black color pencil as opposed to that scratchy graininess that you normally get from a charcoal pencil. That's medium and that has to be because of the oil that they put in here. Now here's number two and this one says soft. All right. Which is another way of saying darker I would imagine. Yeah that is that is really different. It's definitely darker. And it also has just a little bit of that waxy feel. That's the way I would describe it. It has a, a little bit of a waxy feel to it. So unlike regular charcoal pencils, this doesn't seem to be putting dust all over the place. And I'm going to bring over some of my other charcoal pencils that are just charcoal pencils. No oil or any of that kind of stuff. And uh, compare. Alright, and then we're going to go to the number one, which is the extra soft pencil. Let's take a look at that. It too has that same kind of mild waxy feel to it. Not as drastic as like a crayon or a color pencil, but very close to a color pencil I would say. Um, now just using the weight of the pencil itself without giving it much pressure, it doesn't seem, the extra soft doesn't seem this case to be darker than the soft. The soft seems darker to me. Look at that. I don't know. What do you think? But maybe that changes if I press down on it. Now I'm going to run an eraser through these so I'm going to press down on it over here so I don't taint that one. But if you press down on it alright that's one. Let me put one there. Extra soft. And let's see what was this one was two. I'm gonna press down on it. That's two. And number three is the medium. And I'm gonna press down with this one too. When I draw, I do not press down. I never press down. Uh, it's just not a good idea. You damage the paper fibers and you have no control over uh, blending and erasing and taking highlights. It's nearly impossible once you damage the paper like that. But just so we can see if one is actually darker than the other. Oh, three. Okay, now take a look at that. All right. I don't see a big major difference between one and two, but maybe, kind of, sort of, I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And over here, I still think two looks darker than one. And none of these were pressed. Okay, so, ah, that's just really weird. And again, it has that kind of waxy feel to it, but not heavy, just very, very light. But it definitely does not feel like a regular charcoal pencil, which I'm going to get right now. All right, so here are a few selections that I have, and I'll introduce them to you so that you can become well acquainted with my friends here. These are the ones I normally use. Here you have the Primo Euro Blend Charcoal 59-HB. Then one that I use a lot is the Primo Elite Green Blend. You have Organic Black Numero 5000, aka 5000. 
And then I have the Conte à Paris. That's horrible. Pierre Noël, 3B, France, 1710. I make no apologies though. All right. And then here's my medium upside down, but it's uh, the Castle Art Supplies Charcoal Medium. Okay, just generic. All right. So these are the ones that I use that are just pure charcoal. And then I have, you know, the hybrids like the uh, General's 9XXB and the Statler Blacks. You know, they are all dark pencils too. But uh, we're, we're just going to, these are called charcoal. So we're going to compare them to charcoal, but without the oil. All right, so here's the medium pencil I have. And you can hear it sounds scratchy, kind of like chalk on a chalkboard. Okay, whereas these did not because they had that really smooth, waxy feel to it. All right, so there's the medium, and it's very hard to write with it. Okay, and here we have the Elite Grande 5000, all right? So, that is really pitch dark right there. Oh yeah, okay, that's the 5000. Then we have the Primo HB, the 59 HB. It's called a Euro Blend. And apparently they must have something in here. I don't know because it doesn't dust up as much as the other thing. So this is the 59 HB. I don't know what the 59 stands for, except that's the year I was born. And the Conte à Paris, right? Or Conte à Paris. <laughs> uh, all right. And that, of course, is a very smooth pencil. And on top of that, it has kind of a waxy feel to it but not as much as these and is definitely smooth and dark. So let me now bring that up close so that you can see it. Look at those. Now you see the dust coming off? Okay, so the 5000 Primo apparently is the dustiest of them all. Alright, this would be the least. This thing had a really smooth feel to it. I really like that Conte Paris one. That's that's a really good one. And this is a medium, so I mean, I just kind of put it on there so you can compare it to their medium. But look at the difference. All right? So if the question was, "Hey Rex, can you review the Creta color Nero oil charcoal pencils to see if they are good for that dark drawing stuff my easy answer is no no not a chance i'll stick with the charcoal because that's going to give me the richest darks compared to this this here you you're not going to get unless you press and i would say don't press on your paper people no now i have pencils that compare somewhat to these let me go get those. All right. Here is a co Inor or Enor Hartmuth Geoconda Negro. And uh, what's the number there for those? 8815 slash 1. This I would compare a lot to this this kind right here. It definitely is not waxy feeling though. 
So I would not compare it to a black color pencil. I'll take that back. Can I please? It, it feels more towards the charcoal, though it has kind of a, I don't know, a, a slightly less chalky feel to it. Let me put this here as the, um, what do I call it here, Geoconda? Okay, so that's the Geoconda, all right? Because I, I know that that is the color. So there you go, okay. And let me bring that up to you so you can kind of see the difference. Now, there's what that looks like compared to those, compared to those. So this kind of can hang out with these guys, even though this isn't quite as dark as these guys, but it definitely leaves these guys, the Creta color, okay, in the lurches. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. All right, I may have one more. Hold on one minute. I went ahead and brought one more charcoal pencil. This one here is just called Simply, and it's a hard charcoal, great for sharp lines. Well, that's what this hard charcoal looks like. I'm just going to write hard on here. And then I brought two hybrids. This is where they're part charcoal or carbon, I don't know which, and part graphite. You have the generals or Kimberly, but it's general, Kimberly 9XXB. And I also brought the Statler Loomer Mars Lumograph. This is an EE, but it's the same as uh, the pencils you find in the um, Stadler Mars Lumograph Black series. Same identical thing. Okay, so the EE. All right, so. Not as in deep and dark as a uh, the charcoal pencils or the Geoconda, but it seems to be wanting to hang out with the soft pencil or the well, the soft looks darker to me here. But anyway, it seems to be closer to these puppies. Though I have to say that if I was to pick between the EE. Or this soft Creta color, um, I I probably wouldn't care whether either either one. It would just to me it would be um, apples to apples. They'd be pretty much the same. So, and here is the nine XXB. And that pretty much is the same in line with the EE um, and with the soft up here. So, you know, give or take. Okay, so you can definitely, you know, use this in place of a 9XXB or a, you know, maybe the Stadler Black, for example but definitely not in place of charcoal pencils. I think the charcoal pencils rule supreme if you're looking for that really dark, dark, which I do when I'm drawing. All right, now what we need to do is take an eraser to these and see what kind of ghosting we end up with when we try to erase. So here I have an electric eraser and I have the old manual white handheld one, not a Raj. Okay, so what's it like to erase these puppies? I'm going to try to do them 
to see how far I can go to bring out the white of the paper. All right, so let me zoom in here for you. Nobody wants to miss the show, I'm sure. There we go. How's that? All right. So let's start off with the Geo Conda here. All right, so that's about as good as you're going to get with the Geoconda. And I'm going to try the electric on it. Okay, so that's about as good as you're going to get. You're going to have ghosting, of course. All right. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Krita colors because that's what this review is about, right? So, we'll try the handheld puppy here. The hard, I thought was impressive. That came right off really easy. The soft, I thought that erased pretty quick as well. Quicker than I was getting over here and looks like it's even better. And the extra soft. Same deal. Not too bad. I like that. That's impressive. Now the electric. Oh, that's good. That came off pretty nice. Now, of course, the soft isn't going to come off as nice as the medium, but it came off pretty quick, pretty easy. All right, take a look at this. All right, so that's what you can expect. I thought that medium did a great job coming off. These two here, not too bad, but you know, it's ghosting. But look at how much darker that ghosting is on the Geoconda, see? So, erasing, of course, is always a consideration when you're drawing. So, this is, I think, much better to erase than this. However, this is darker than this. So, it'd be interesting to see what the charcoal pencils produce as far as erasing. And as to be expected, charcoal pencils... You can only lighten them. You're not going to erase them. Okay. That one, boy, that was a tough one there, the 3B. All right, so they're not the greatest for erasing, even with the electric. Okay, you can compare. See that? These are clearly lighter than these, and the erasing was, of course, lighter than here. So it seems to be relative, right? Okay. And here we have the charcoal hard, the EE, the two hybrids, the EE and the 9XXB. All right. You would think the hybrids would uh, give you a slight advantage, but not really. So take a look at those and of course those being lighter they erase lighter so that's all relative but I have to say though that that medium on there I thought was pretty impressive that just came off really nice 
but when you put it on it's pretty much like a like a 4b graphite pencil in its darkness it's not really that dark which in that case I would just use the 4b graphite pencil and uh, that will erase way more than this will graphite will come off a lot easier than this especially if you don't press it into the paper so there we have it I mean I could test these three uh, ones that you press in there you go you can compare okay so if you asking my opinion which I'm assuming you are because you are watching my video what I thought about these pencils let's say for my own personal drawing um, you know, no, not really, not for me, but it might be for you. Uh, why? Why is this not for me? Because if I'm looking for a charcoal pencil, it's because I want the darkest dark, like I got here with the Primos and just your basic everyday uh, charcoal pencils like Casso and, and whatever that other brand was, Simple. Uh, this is too light and if I'm going to if I'm going to do something this light well in a graphite drawing a pencil drawing I'm going to use graphite pencils the charcoal I use strictly for uh, you know getting the really dark dark details in there to bring out that 3d photorealism okay which I'll show you, here's the girl on the wall, which you look at those black gloves and, and the black background and everything. You can see how it just brings that photograph, that drawing alive, okay? Uh, and graphite would not have allowed me to do that for the, the black blacks of that drawing. So that's both graphite and charcoal together in the same drawing that allowed me to do that. So... Who might use these? Well, I would say that this would be great for someone who is interested in doing a 100% charcoal drawing. If you're going to be just using charcoal pencils, you're not going to use any graphite, just charcoal pencils. These would be great because these would allow you to do your lighter tones, for example, and then you can reserve these for your darker tones. Uh, one of the things that we didn't check out though, and I think we should do that now before we conclude, is whether this would be worth using for lighter tones because will it blend? Yes, it blends a little bit like a graphite pencil. That's what that medium one does. All right. Okay, that's that one, and I'll turn this over to do the last one. All right, so there's the blending and I just say meh it's all right now these of course I know these like to blend oh yes this is a blend party here boys and girls look at that all right anyway so yeah use these you know if you're doing a hundred percent charcoal drawing um, they're they're not something for me personally I think they're okay uh, they just feel a lot like waxy crayons to a point not as dramatic as that but pretty close closer to that than it would feel like that chalkiness of a charcoal pencil uh, which I prefer for the richer darks uh, in my drawings um, but there's nothing wrong with them. They're just, I just don't see what the advantage of, of them with graphite would be. If you're, if you're drawing in graphite, don't bother with these personally. I, I just don't think they add anything whatsoever. Uh, you can get really rich darks with graphite. Here's a, 
Here's a graphite pencil. This is a 10B pencil, so it's considered a dark graphite. And if I was to put that right here, I think you'll get the point. Okay, compare that to these, you know. See, now the reason I'm angling the paper like this is because one thing with graphite is you do get that well, you're getting the shine all the way across, so I'm trying to avoid the shine there for you. Okay, but you can see that as a pretty dark pencil, and it's graphite. So, where's the advantage of oily charcoal? I don't see that. It definitely wouldn't be in the erasing, would it? I don't think so. And, uh... Blending, of course. Graphite is always good for blending, so it's always nice to blend graphite, especially soft graphite, okay? Just let me know what you think, and if you like the review, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the review, turn in a circle three, four times, and then again, give me a like. <laughs> uh, Seriously, I didn't drink anything today. I really didn't. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you all watching and uh, take a look at my other videos. When you get a chance, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.